Hello everyone and welcome back to The Cozy Chair. Thank you so much for sending me your pictures on Instagram because you get to see me, but I really want to see all of you. So send me your pictures on Instagram because it is time to play Who's Listening? So everybody, look here, we have Brinley, Cash, and Boston. Say hello to them. Yay, thank you so much for coming. I'm so happy that you're here on the cozy chair. Well, today I'm having a pretty good day. But you know what? I have to tell you, the other day, I just had a terrible day. It was so terrible that it was horrible and no good. Does that sound like something familiar to you? Maybe you have heard about Alexander. And Alexander had such a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day that you know what? Judith Vorst wrote a book about it. So this is... Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day by Judith Vorst. And today, I'm going to be reading this for Tabby. Hi, Tabby. I heard that this is your very favorite book. So I hope that you enjoy listening. Let's see. This is illustrated by Ray Cruz. And poor Alexander. I mean, just look at him. He even looks like he's having a hard day, doesn't he? Well, let's see what Alexander has to say today. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. In, and when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running. And I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box, and Nick found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box, but in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. See, sometimes when we have a bad day, we just want to move away, don't we? In the carpool, Miss Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said, if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be carsick. No one even answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible no good, very bad day. At school, Miss Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, hor horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on attack, I said to Paul. I hope the next time you get a double-decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream part falls off the cone part and lands in Australia. That always makes us sad, huh? When our best friends find other best friends? Yeah, that's not very fun, is it? There were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag, and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, poor Alexander. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist, and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. <laughs> Poor kid. Look at his messy hair. He even has messy hair on his bad day. On the way downstairs, the elevator closed on my foot, and while we were waiting for my mom to get back in the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And then when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And... When I was, while I was punching Nick for saying crybaby, my mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I told everybody. No one even answered. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white ones with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But the shoe man said, we're, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with this copy machine. 
but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful it could be except for my elbow. He said, don't fool around with this phone, but I think I called Australia. My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Oh, look at his dad's office. Sometimes when we have a terrible, horrible, very bad day, it spreads. It gets on to other people, and they have terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days, too. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot, I got soap in my eyes, my marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad train pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took, back, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and the Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony, not with me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says, some days are like that. Even in Australia. Look, he's finally putting that very bad day to bed. And I hope that when he wakes up, he'll be happy again. Some days are just like that. And no matter where we go, whether we're here or we're there, bad days can just be bad days. But I am so happy that I have some of you listening all the way in Australia. Hello, all of you in Australia. And I wonder, do you guys have bad days too? I don't know. He seems to think if he runs away to Australia, all his bad days will go away. So you'll have to message me and tell me if even you have bad days in Australia. Thanks all of you for coming. And remember that if you want to see your picture up here, then you need to send it to me on Instagram at the Cozy Chair Club. Make sure that you get that and I will put it up here and we'll all be able to see you. Thanks so much for coming and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.